Okay, let's get going. This is uh, video number 86, and we're doing the test questions. Uh, I plan to finish the multiple uh, choice part of the test a little later this morning. But let's take our time, as promised, and do all these questions carefully, because you always have the video. Go over the test and, and see what you did wrong, because many of you uh, didn't do so hot on the test. So 32, a lot of kids got wrong. I don't know. Let's work it out together. I'll put this in front of you here so you see that we have one cube and there's a smaller cube stacked on top of it and the numbers are as easy as you can get. One face is uh, with the, each edge is three on the bottom and each edge is two on the top. So what's the big deal? When I look at it, there are five faces. I have to count the bottom unless they say something different. Each face is three squares. I gave you the edge, so it's um, uh, edge squared, which is nine, and there are five of them, so it's nine times five. That's what you got. And now the top guy, number six, that we omitted because it's a cube, well, that can only be three squared, which is the area of the bigger part, minus two squared, which is the smaller square. Now when I look at the other guy, how many sides are left? Well, five, just like before, but this is a smaller guy, so it's uh, two squared. Okay, so let's see, I come up with 45 here, I come up with five here, nine minus four, I come up with 20 here, and when I put together the numbers, whatever the units are there, and that was choice B. So I don't know. That's what I came up with. Uh, let's go to number 33. And we did a couple problems like this, only a little more complicated. Uh, in this case, they're uh, telling you that you have this right rectangular prism, and they're telling you that the, uh, the length, the width, and the height, and they're saying whatever the contents are, are point two point, uh, point, uh, 0.25 pounds per uh, cubic foot. Uh, this, uh, the scientist would determine how you got that. We talked about all that. So the, not, so the math turns out to be uh, 15 times 3, uh, 3, sorry, uh, times um, 3.5. These are the dimensions of the rectangular prism. And you put that in the calculator, and you come out with um, the volume. And then it's the volume times 0.25. So when you put all those numbers in, you'll come out with 3 uh, 39.375, which is choice one. So there we go. This times this times this is the volume. You were taught that so many times. And this is in cubic feet, right? The volume is measured in cubic feet. And each uh, cubic foot has a weight of this. So what is the weight? Again, in pounds per cubic feet, okay, uh, when you get involved in science, you do things like that, okay? We'll make sure that uh, everything was clear to the kids there as we go on. Uh, make sure that there's not too much there right now. Oops, just a little bit. Okay, so uh, now we go on to number 34. And number 34 is probably a uh, kind of question that already been asked and probably shouldn't be on the test. Uh, to the kids who get it, just a gift. And you know, some questions should be gifts on any test, right? You know, so the hard ones uh, make up for the easy ones and back and forth. So, uh, I mean, that's the way I look at it. And so we, um, we see number 34, and if you understood the previous problem, you have here a pyramid on top of a square. If you look at it, I'm, talk, I'm referring to this one right here. And they're asking you if you understand a vertical plane, that's a two-dimensional shape that goes vertically, and it cuts this um, three-dimensional shape. Well, as we did before, you can only get a pentagon when you do it. And that was explained in a previous problem on one of the earlier uh, videos. 
So I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that. They're the same problem. This probably shouldn't have been asked because it just repeats uh, what the other problem was saying. So here we are here. And now I go on to number 35. And boy, oh boy, this is just a, uh, a seventh grade question. Uh, you go to your formula and you have your dimensions. You could look up your formula and the length is six and the width is five. So then we got plus two times six. Which other dimension are we missing? Uh, the height is four. And now the two ones you were missing over here as we go along, just using the formula in any way whatsoever, uh, two times five uh, times four. So again, uh, we see there on this page, they gave you some real easy ones. There's 60, uh, there's 48, and uh, 20 times 2, there's 40, right? Uh, 20 times 2. And when you put that together, you get 148. Okay? And so there, that one's been explained if you happen to get it wrong. Um, like I said, uh, lots of kids got lots of problems wrong. And of course, uh, these are square units to keep in, uh, you know, just to respect what we learned and uh, to keep uh, pressing those things down. And finally, I can do this on the bottom, number 36. Um, you see the problem here, and they're asking you the surface area of a, like a shoebox compared to a square. This is a, um, this is a common core question on the test. So you didn't get to take the Common Core this year, but this was asked, I think, last year or something like that. And uh, so I figure out the surface area of the shoebox. And again, uh, it's uh, this. And we're just writing out the numbers really quick. Uh, there's the plus 2 because there are two sides. This has all been explained to you. I'll rewrite the 2. Which number are we missing here? Um, another 2. And finally, the 4.5 times 2. And I'm not going to, you know, go on and on about this. You, this you learned in seventh grade. Or if you didn't, you were learning it here. And we do agree uh, that the Common Core is asking this to eighth graders. So we respect that. Well, hold on here. There's a little mistake here. Sloppiness. Let's see. Uh, this is 9 times 3. This is going to be 27. And this will be um, uh, 12, and there it is, uh, 18. And uh, we come up with, uh, double check, 57, which is choice, uh, oh, 57 for the uh, shoebox. Sorry, I did one thing. And then minus the, uh, the cube. And the cube was, so we have 57. I guess I'll put it over here and circle back. And now the cube is going to be uh, five sides. You can see that. There's the cube over here. Uh, six sides. Uh, five, uh, six sides times, um, times uh, three. Square, uh, three squared, actually. You want to be formal math. So that's 54, 9 times 6 is 54, and 57 minus 54 equals 3, which is the correct choice B. So again, well, this would be maybe a challenging problem for a 7th grader, but again, this is what they're asking. It's a common core problem that they asked on the 8th grade math test. So that's what they want you to know going into high school. All right? And a little later, we'll take care of the uh, last three. Um, I'll move everything around here so you got to see everything. There are the choices. There's the math I just did uh, for number 36. Okay.